Hi, my name is Viraj Matani and I'm a contemporary artist. I make painting imprints that attempt to foreground the Indian art schools like Miniature, Konna, Wali, to name a few that were sort of lost um, because of colonization and never entered the academia. Um, also through materiality, like I use a lot of sheet clay and vinyl and through a lot of layering onto my prints and paintings. Uh, I'm really interested in exploring the complexities of the plastic age we live in. Um, the digitization and um, sort of the rapid consumption that we all partake in. Sort of how does that come into play um, with in conjunction with the history of art which sort of never really uh, flourished um, and that's what I'm really interested in if it sort of moved forward how it would have turned out in the contemporary times of today and how it would have sort of influenced the popular culture of today. Color psychology and symbolism are a crucial part of the conversation. Uh, I want to create visual semiotics of motifs that are borrowed from these distinct traditions and cultures. Um, and also like seeing how they sort of like affect the viewership uh, with, uh, again, when we talk about color, it's always like different people from different backgrounds like really read color differently. Uh, just sort of like an example, um, saffron, um, orange color back home is sort of red really differently. We use it, it's looked up as a sacred color um, because we use it in a lot of different traditions and rituals and also through religious readings. Um, there is this positive sort of reading to it, but um, when I was in Chicago, people would relate it to the color of hot dog. So it's just like how um, color, like a simple thing is color sort of influences the stimulation and like psychological responses that um, it sort of evokes in humans. And that's something that I'm really interested in and how that sort of plays uh, within my works. This might sound a bit morbid, but I'm always thinking about our infrastructures back home. Um, I helped volunteer and run this organization Carpe Arte through which uh, we've been doing a lot of museum and gallery walkthroughs. Uh, we've conducted artist studio visits um, and also held uh, critical reading sessions. Um, most recently we're collaborating with other organizations to prepare art curriculums. So really thinking a lot about and working towards like making art accessible uh, every way possible within the system. Um, but apart from that, um, I love watching um, crime and investigative shows, um, I love playing chess, so through the pandemic I've been playing a lot of online chess with friends and horse riding, uh, that's something that also I have a very keen interest in, so every opportunity I get, I hop on it. 